We're just over a week away from the start of Euro 2020, and in this video we'll be entering a 15-man squad in Fan Team's £1 million tournament. Before you ask, there will also be a team selection video for match day 1 of the official UEFA Euro 2020 game, coming up shortly, which I know many of you will be playing. If you're already familiar with that game, you'll notice that the prices here differ slightly, and the rules are even more simple. Unlike the UEFA game, there are no chips in Fan Team, only a single wildcard, which must be used between the end of match day 3 and the start of the round of 16. Captaincy and automatic substitutions work as they do with traditional FPL, in that once the deadline has passed, you're locked in until the following game week. So it's perfect if you're looking for a more low maintenance game that won't be as time consuming as UEFA's. You can enter your team via the link in the description, but you do have to be over 18, as there's an incredible £1 million prize pool on offer, with £200,000 awarded to the overall winner. Finishing in the top 10,000 places will guarantee you a cash payout, in return for your £20 entry. So without further ado, let's take a look at who makes the team. Since we get a wildcard ahead of the round of 16, we only really need to consider the group stage fixtures here. Italy are the standout favourites in Group A, where they'll face Turkey, Wales and Switzerland, with Gianluigi Donnarumma their man between the sticks. They're currently on a run of six consecutive clean sheets across Nations League and World Cup qualifiers. Fullback Alessandro Florenzi is another secure set and forget option amongst the Italy back line, but comes with limited attacking potential. He notched two goals and one assist in 21 league appearances for PSG this season. In fan team, there's plenty of value in midfield, which makes it easier to splash the cash in defence. The Netherlands are favourites to win Group C, so you'll notice heavy investment in them throughout the team. Denzel Dumfries looks set to start at right back. And a tally of two goals and six assists in 30 league appearances for PSV showcases his ability in the final third. He also assisted twice in four Nations League appearances for his country. Rounding off a premium looking defence is Spain left back Jordi Alba, who directly contributed to eight goals in 35 La Liga appearances with Barcelona this season. No international teammate has provided as many assists or key passes during the World Cup qualifiers. Classified as a midfielder in fan team, Memphis Depay is hard to ignore on the back of an impressive domestic campaign, where he amassed 20 goals and 12 assists. The 27-year-old is boosted by penalty duties, and has 4 goals and 2 assists in his last 5 starts for his country. Dutch teammate Steven Burgess is expected to start on the opposite flank, in a front 3. He bagged 18 goals and 12 assists in 31 league appearances with Feyenoord this season, and has scored in each of his last 2 matches for the Netherlands. A handy price tag of just 6 million makes Wales talisman Gareth Bale a tempting prospect, despite tough competition from Italy, Turkey and Switzerland in Group A. The 31-year-old ended his Premier League campaign on a high, with a brace against Leicester, and has provided an assist in each of his last four matches for his country. Denmark won all three of their recent World Cup qualifiers, with an aggregate scoreline of 14-0, and a tip to make it out of Group B along with Belgium. Talisman and penalty taker Christian Eriksen netted four goals in six Nations League appearances, despite struggling for club form with Inter. Belgium scored 28 goals in 9 matches across Nations League and World Cup qualifiers, averaging 3.1 per game. Romelu Lukaku was unsurprisingly his country's top scorer across those matches, with 7 goals and 1 assist in 7 appearances. England are favoured by the bookies in Group D, and will be seeking revenge against 2018 World Cup semi-final opponents Croatia in match day 1. Golden Boot winner of that tournament Harry Kane has had another impressive domestic campaign, as viewers of this channel will be well aware of, with 23 goals and 14 assists in 35 Premier League outings. Completing the 11 is Cristiano Ronaldo, likely to be just a one-week punt. Group F is expected to be very competitive, with Germany, France and Portugal locking horns, and Hungary looking likely to be the whipping boys. So perhaps a move to Griezmann for match day 2 could be on the cards. There's 0.5 million left in the bank with that potential transfer in mind. On the bench, there's a place for Martin Dubravka, priced at just 4 million and expected to start for Slovakia. John McGinn is generously priced at 4.5 million, despite scoring three goals in three games for Scotland in the World Cup qualifiers. Attack minded left back Joachim Mayle has scored twice in his last seven appearances for his country and provided six assists at club level this season. The 24-year-old could be worth starting ahead of Florenzi in match day 1, with Denmark given better odds for a clean sheet against Finland than Italy against Turkey. Russia centre-back Andrei Semenov completes the squad as a 4 million option who is expected to get game time. 
As mentioned earlier, there's no swapping between captains during match days with Fan Team's game, so it's just a case of selecting who you think is your best option across the entire round. In this case, it's Cristiano Ronaldo who wears the armband, having opted to include him specifically for this opening fixture against Hungary. The Serie A top goalscorer netted 29 goals in 33 appearances for Juventus this campaign, 